Hello everyone! It's Mermaid again. It really tried to sneak up on me this year, but I was like, nope, not this time. I'm gonna have a video ready for the first day. So this is it. Welcome! Last year was my first time doing Mermaid and I had a blast. My concept was to create mermaids based on different types of marine life. They were all watercolors and I only allowed myself one sketch page before the final illustration. At the time, I was doing daily sketches and watercolor pieces, so it wasn't too different from my norm, but I have since branched out my art skills and added more mediums to my arsenal. I decided to branch out with Mermaid as well. So sticking with tradition, I won't be following any official prompts this time, and I will be making it as hard on myself as possible, and hopefully not failing. I will tell you my plans for Mermaid in just a minute, but first, I will tell you what I'm up to here. Just like last year, I wanted to design my own sketchbook to use for all my ideas and illustrations and such. So I'm going to be painting the cover of this sketchbook for my first mermaid of mermaid. I don't think I've drawn a mermaid since last May, so I wanted to warm up with some loose thumbnail sketches and then start refining some ideas for the cover. I was going to go with a traditional mermaid and I was thinking of making it really easy on myself and just going with a silhouette or something. But the longer I sketched, the more I started leaning towards my favorite mermaids of last year, the octopus mermaids. I remembered seeing a photograph of a little Dumbo octopus and I loved the colors. It was almost a transparent bluish white body that faded into magenta, magenta tentacles. That's hard to say. I decided to go with that concept. And once I had her sketched out, I wanted to add even more interest to the illustration and have a school of little goldfish swimming past. So now it's time to start painting. I used acrylic paint for this project and the brands I used were Liquitex and Winsor & Newton. I thought I could go straight in with the paint since the cover was canvas, but it was just not working out for me, so I decided to add a layer of gesso to the cover before I began. The next bit is pretty self-explanatory, so I will take this opportunity to talk about my plans for this month's challenge. So, Mermaid. It was originally meant to be a daily drawing challenge to encourage people to practice their skills and expand their knowledge. Now, I don't know if at the start it was primarily traditional art media, like Inktober, but however this challenge started, it has quickly expanded over many different types of art. I've seen the mermaid challenge done in everything from all paints to digital art, so I figured that it was perfectly acceptable for me to actually make this part of the challenge for myself. I listed 31 different types of art media and I will attempt to create a mermaid each day using a different method. So day one, for example, is acrylic painting. Check! It's done! Now I just have 30 more different types of art media. To get through. I will go ahead and tell you a few of the things that are here on my list. I have digital painting, gouache painting, resin casting, don't know what I'm gonna do for that one yet, and sewing. Yep, this month is going to be interesting. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I'm also getting ready for amazement at the end of this month, so I'm going to be busy busy busy. I'll probably try to get most of the hard ones out of the way first so I can focus on getting all of my amazement merchandise done when it gets closer to crunch time. So back to what I'm doing here. I put down a white base layer for my mermaid and while it was still wet, I began blending the blue hues into the white to give it that translucent smoky appearance. It's difficult to work wet on wet technique with acrylic because it dries so fast. There are retardants that you can add to the, your paint in order to slow down the drying process, but I don't happen to have any, so I just worked really fast. I find that if you use one brush to lay down color and another slightly damp clean brush to feather out the color, then you can achieve a nice blended effect. The paint dried even faster than normal on this surface, so I didn't get the blends as smooth as I normally like to, but ultimately, I didn't mind so much. Now for the skin, I had to do a little research to figure out what colors to use. Normally, for most skin tones, there's a slight red undertone because our blood is red and our skin isn't 100% opaque. 
So my initial impulse is to put some red in the base color for the skin. But looking at photos taken underwater, I noticed that a lot of people in the photos had a lot of green undertones. This is because the water acts as an extra filter to, for the light and it alters the color slightly. I'm not going to get technical because I don't know the sciencey words for it and to be honest it doesn't matter all that much for art purposes, but knowing that the farther from the camera it is in an underwater environment, the more blue or green it will appear. So I decided to limit the amount of red I used for the skin tone base and use green instead of purple for my shadows. I still threw in a bit of red here and there so she didn't look too alien, but I figured if this method failed, then I can always say, hey, she's a mermaid, she's not limited to the same skin tones we are. Now the highlights I normally do in yellow tones, and this I kept the same because there is sunlight filtering down through the water and she is surrounded by goldfish and that would cast some golden hues on her as they passed. Now I think I've run out of things that I can say about this painting, so I will just let you sit back and listen to some music while you watch the rest of this. I will interject here and there if I think there's something else I can add, but if not, I will check in with you at the end of the video. Okay, we are nearing the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm super excited about Mermaid this year. Are you going to be participating? If so, let me know in the comments. If you want to see daily uploads of the mermaids I create, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Links in the description below. I'm not sure which art medium I will tackle for next week's video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Hope you have a great day. Bye.